Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, welcome to you as well. Today, um, what am I doing today? Today, um, we are going through another weekend in my life. If you're new here, hi, my name is Francesca. I make vlogs, hauls, routines, and everything in between. So if you like any of that, you should just go ahead and hit subscribe. So, I just got back from Target, and I have things to show you guys and things to do. But first and foremost, I already opened this, and I shouldn't have, but I got excited. I went ahead and got that two-pack with the kind of glow-in-the-dark Killmonger. So this is the pop, and it comes with a t-shirt. I got it in a large, and honestly, I'm very surprised. I have another one of these shirts that I won from, like, a little prize pack. It's a low-key one, and it's very cheaply printed. This is actually, like, pretty vibrant, and I'm surprised. But what we're really here for, the really important thing, is the fact that everybody's having their Black Friday fails, like it's not, not even Halloween and it doesn't make any sense. Um, so, this happened. Yeah, this happened. I have not had my own Keurig, like one that actually belongs within the same walls as me since college. Like I've borrowed people's Keurigs for short periods of times. I just never went back and got another one. This is normally like retail price $100 and it was on sale for $49.99. Um, and it's on sale at all the Targets. So I don't know when you are watching this, but I do suggest that you check because it comes in a couple of different colors and most of them have sold out. But I'm excited about this. So we're going to open this up, but we're also going to clean off my counter area so that I can set it up and put it together. I also got Perfect Pod. I have a bunch of coffee grounds. If you've been watching my channel for a while, I make cold brew. If you haven't, check out this video above. I have a bunch of coffee grounds and I'm not buying coffee pods when I don't need to. So, that's what this is for. Okay, I have a very small kitchen. And so this counter here, it looks a mess right now. It doesn't always look this bad, but today it does. And the main things that need to stay is this nest. Everything else I kind of can move around a little bit. Um, so I'm going to try to like finagle all of this and put it in a better state so that we can put the coffee machine over here. Okay, so I have it out. It honestly did not come with much. I know like the old cure came with a little K-cup samples, but it's literally just the machine. It has like a little retractable cord and regular little mixer here. And then I went ahead and pulled down my regular roast coffee and my caramel mix. This is my milk frother. And then we already talked about this little K-cup here. And I have these lemons out anyway, so I just left them there. I am, I'm not sure what I want to do with my nest. Like, I feel like that might be too far away from me right now. I want to kind of get a stand for it, possibly. But I also don't know what that looks like or what that process would look like. But the Keurig is all unboxed. I'm about to make myself a hot pumpkin spice latte real quick. But before I do, I think I have to run hot water through this water through it so I'm gonna put water in the reservoir and see 
how this goes. It is the next morning. It is Saturday. Um, I don't know, I have a few things that I need to get done today. One is laundry and I really don't want to do that. But yesterday, my friend Alyssa, who I've been friends with for forever, came over and she gave me a GoPro Hero 4. And I'm like so excited and I'm so glad that I like have this opportunity to try and do more random like perspective shots this camera is so like crystal clear and like it's great and it's modern and I can see myself and I love all of that but at the same time I kind of want to have more interesting shots so this is the GoPro here um and the thing about this is I can't see my face and I think that that's honestly kind of stressful for me <laughs> because I for the most part look in the viewfinder when I film and I know that I shouldn't but this will be interesting because I can't see what I'm filming so it's kind of like that digital camera feel where you really so it's kind of like that digital camera feeling where you really have to rely on just like feeling out angles figuring out what's happening that sort of thing um, so this is cool. I definitely want to take this like outside in the sun, get some footage of the leaves moving, stuff like that. I think it's going to be pretty cool. tried to keep reading my book I really did and I just didn't have the energy so I've been playing Sims and then I don't know why but I had a craving for wings and so don't even remember what flavors I have. I think it's Chipotle Honey Barbecue and Mango Habanero because I almost always get Mango Habanero. But yeah. It's like a whole hour later. I didn't even feel me eating. We are now at the outlets. We have like two outlets, I think about maybe two hours each from each other. Um, I don't need anything. I really don't, but I'm probably gonna end up buying something. We are back. Okay, so I didn't really get much, but 
Daphne. <laughs> She's just wilding in the background. I didn't really get much, but Bath and Body Works had another sale. Buy two, get two free. And, um, yeah. I definitely got four candles. This is Cypress Amber. This kind of has like a, a natural or like a woodsy scent. I haven't tried this one before, but I feel like this is a normal scent that I would have in the house year round. White pumpkin, had to get white pumpkin. Everybody is raving about white pumpkin. I love the way it smells. It has like a very kind of Christmassy smell to be honest with you. This is Marshmallow Fireside. Again, this is a good winter smell. I tried to like not just get fall candles so that I can have something that doesn't just smell like pumpkin and coffee because that's pretty much all of the fall scents at this point. This might be my favorite. And then lastly, of course, pumpkin spice latte. I love this because it doesn't necessarily smell like a pumpkin spice latte, but it seems like a hot cocoa pumpkin-y smell. It's good. So all of those are buy two, get two free. And then the van store had a buy one, get one free on hoodies. And I got this hoodie here. The front of it just has like the Vans logo with the Lula flower and a smiley face, peace sign, Vans. And then the back looks like this. I got this in a men's medium, so it's a little loose, but it like fits shoulders wise. And yeah, I like, it's not too heavy and it's not too light either. So this is pretty good for fall. I don't think I can get away with just wearing this once it starts to get cold, cold, but that's all I got. Well guys, I think I'm going to end things here. That about wraps it up for this end of the weekend. Daphne is once again trying to say goodbye. Say bye, Daph. No? Okay. I want to thank you guys so, so much for watching. And as always, I hope you have a good rest of your day.